Audiobook Summary Presents Crying in H Mart by Michelle Zorna Crying in H Mart centers on Zorna's relationship with her mother Chongmi in the wake of Chongmi's death when Zorna was 25. The memoir slipped back and forth in time, with chapters frequently beginning in the aftermath of Chongmi's death before moving backward to Zorna's childhood memories. Chongmi was a stern woman who was very demanding when Zorna was a child. Zorna yearned for her approval and found it in their shared appreciation of the Korean foods that Chongmi prepared or showed to Zorna in her youth. Though their relationship was strained and even violent during Zorna's teenage years, in part because of Zorna's growing interest in music, Zorna and her mother were beginning to grow in appreciation and understanding of each other. During this time, Zorna moved to Philadelphia to work on her music career while seeing her boyfriend Peter. Chongmi's cancer diagnosis puts Zauna's world on hold as she moves back home to Eugene, Oregon. She thinks she will have the opportunity to repay her mother's intense caretaking during this time, and she longs to make the Korean foods that her mother loved so much. She is stymied by the severity of her mother's symptoms, though, which are so bad that she must be hospitalized early into Zauna's stay. Her lack of access to her mother's care is exacerbated by the arrival of her mother's friend Kai, who takes over much of the caretaking despite Zauna's mixed feelings. Zauna's father, meanwhile, proves ill-equipped to handle his wife's illness, which creates a growing rift between Zauna and her father. When chemotherapy doesn't work, Chongmi elects to discontinue treatment, she watched her sister go through 24 rounds of chemo and still die young of cancer. The family plans a trip to Seoul so Chongmi can see her other sister and her home country. The trip is a disaster, as Chongmi becomes ill and must be hospitalized for several weeks, this motivates Zona to insist that she and Peter get married as soon as possible, and Peter agrees. The wedding is held in the family's backyard, and Chongmi is energized by the planning and the ceremony, though she is unable to stay for the whole evening. Not long after, Chongmi's strength fails, and she succumbs to her illness. In the aftermath, Zona and her father plan a vacation to Vietnam to distract themselves, but the trip turns disastrous as old hurts bubble up, Zorna abandons her father at dinner and goes to sing karaoke with a stranger, and though she is empathetic to her father's struggles, she is unwilling to forgive his failures as a father and husband. After the trip, he gets in a car accident while drunk, and within a year he sells the family home and moves to Phuket to be with another woman, further straining his relationship with Zorna. After her mother's death, Zorna and Peter stay around Eugene to help settle affairs and plan their next steps. It's during this time that Zorna starts writing and playing music again, eventually recording Psychopomp, the first Japanese breakfast album. She and Peter decide to move back to the East Coast, but before that, they take a trip to see Zorna's aunt, Nami Emo, in Seoul. The trip is healing, especially because Zorna connects with Nami over the food she and her mother used to share. Returning home, Zorna works hard to learn more traditional Korean dishes, turning to a popular YouTuber named Mongchi to perfect her techniques. She begins making kimchi every month, going through the painstaking process as a kind of therapy. When her father sells the family home, he sends Zorna her mother's kimchi fridge, which she finds filled with hundreds of candid photos from her childhood, a testament to the link between mother and daughter. The memoir closes with the successful reception of Psychopomp, which Zorna wrote in honor of her mother and which allowed her to go on tour in Asia. Seoul is the final stop of the tour, and Zorna sees the night as a celebration and continuation of her mother's spirit. She closes the book on a scene of her and Nami Emo singing a karaoke pop song that Nami used to sing with Chongmi growing up, affirming Zorna's connection to her Korean family and heritage.